we've just had the, the final Tuesday, Saturday of the season. How's everything been since then? Um, quiet, in truth, and very sort of, I think, relaxed for the lads that played the majority of the game. Uh, the rest of the squad have done a training session. Um, obviously, time of season we're at. Not going to overwork uh, the players. So that word recovery again. That's been the the main sort of focus for myself and some of the staff. Obviously, looking at Charlton and getting his ideas in place um, for that game in terms of threats. Any you know weaknesses or, or areas that you think you can exploit so all in all just more preparation really for for that game after a performance that, that you're happy with how do you how do you take that on into the next game um i took it on board on on the wednesday waking up a bit happier than i did on on sunday morning i would suggest uh, and then it, you try and keep a good feel but you know we all know the sort of end of the season is, is very much in sight um, but still with some work to do and we, we keep saying it I guess that's been a, a constant message certainly for the last four or five weeks if not right from when, when we first came in so just more of that but not you know not going on about it too much realistically we'll pick the times today in terms of the starters I haven't seen too much of them just seen them either arrive at the training ground or getting the lunch you know we don't need to start talking about Charlton just yet that'll be more tomorrow uh, in terms of again the, the video analysis etc uh, and then hopefully wake up Saturday in, in good spirits well rested and, and ready for another big effort on the back of you know, what was a, a very big effort to, to get the point at Bolton. Yeah, I know you don't want to talk about anyone else's results and now it's, you know, it's in your hands. It's up to you what, what happens now. It is and you're right, I don't, but as we've just been discussing before we started this interview, we're all, I think, aware now. I, I got it wrong the other night in terms of I looked at the table. Like I said, probably sent myself silly looking at it um, and we're probably more focusing on Cheltenham. And then now looking at the Burton's situation, um, I think we've all got our heads round now what we, we do need. Um, but like you say, if we go and get a win, then 100% we know that that's our, our job done. But that'll be difficult against the Charlton side that are on a, a long unbeaten run. I don't want this question to come across as disrespectful to other teams, but you were happy with the performance against Derby, Bolton, no good performance against Portsmouth. What is it about those games where the team maybe step up a level compared to the other games? Yeah, I mean, I, sometimes you can have a run of results like that or, or performances, as you mentioned, and then sometimes maybe you get involved with a group that are the opposite, that they do freeze and maybe take some heavy beatings against these teams. So it's partly getting to know the, the group that we've been working with. Um, it's nice that they can respond, but as you mentioned there, there's been not loads of times. It's not always linked to, like I said, the result. I'm more looking at performances, and I th think I mentioned it the other day, there's probably been three that have not really hit any kind of levels that we've been remotely happy with. Um, <clears throat> it's hard to, to say 100%. Games are different. We were forced to play well the other night in one sense uh, because if we hadn't, then we would have been on the end of a, a bad scoreline. Whereas just prior to that, the Wickham game, you're at home, there's a little bit of the initiative. We have to almost take the initiative, and certainly on that day, we didn't do that, and it, it was a, a nothing game. So yeah, sometimes the circumstance dictate, maybe surroundings, maybe some of them thought, you know, I really want to impress today because of who we're up against. Um, but I think I haven't totally got the answer to that, in all honesty, in terms of, of this group, but certainly it doesn't sit comfortable with me when we're inconsistent because you leave yourself open for that type of question as a, you know as a player as a squad as a group so that's something you know I think back to my playing days you wouldn't want that sort of question asked of you any injury can, uh, concerns I had a Saturday no all good on that front which again is nice after you get a good result and it's amazing then that 
with very little report in terms of any uh, any knocks or niggles. So looking ahead to Charlton, how are you feeling going into that one? As I said, a tough game. Uh, Nathan's gone in there and I think quickly established uh, perhaps a different style of play, getting his message across. And while there have been a lot of draws in, in the unbeaten run, they've certainly become very hard to beat. And, and had some good wins along the way as well. So he'll still be pushing them, I'm sure. And, you know, perhaps without knowing the overall situation, you know, we're getting to the end of the season. Some contracts will be up. There'll be other players maybe under contract, but might become available. So I'm sure they'll still be trying to impress. And, you know, I'm not um, in their camp, but be pretty certain with a couple of games to go, the message will be, can we finish 15? I think it would be unbeaten because um, that's hell of a run to try and take some momentum into into next season. You spoke about obviously in their camp in, in terms of players looking for contracts and stuff. What about, do you find that at this stage of the season, you know, players here will be looking to either put themselves in the shop window, get a contract for next season? Is that something that you can notice? Um, I think sometimes uh, in certain clubs and that can sort of show its face in, in different ways. I think sometimes you can get a groups and clubs where kind of, you've heard the phrase down tools and there's not much going on, you can tell that in performances and then sometimes depending on your situation it can be pressure that, that then influences that uh, but certainly people are different, you know like I, just talking contracts, you could offer someone a contract and they'll either sign or say no straight away and then you get others that will think well I'm going to sit on this and I'll wait four, five, six weeks and a genuinely chilled um, and other people panic and that's again that's just because the nature of it whether football's a job but the, but the people and everyone's got different outlooks probably people's circumstances are different as well um, so you do see different things but I think you know it a club like Charlton, I'm sure they looks like they've got a pretty big squad. I'm sure that Nathan will be wanting to make some changes. How many kind of conversations have you been having looking ahead to your own kind of contract situation with the players and stuff for next season? Yeah, I think you do that very quickly, um, but at the same time trying to give the squad every opportunity, whether it's on the training pitch, whether it is in games, to what you, you know, in terms of what plans you would want to make but also you know the ones certainly the ones that are out of contract they've got their say so if if we were to offer someone a contract they're within the right to turn that down so it's not all one-sided um, but we've we've had some discussions internally about what conversations might have with individuals um, but as I said a few weeks back certainly we're looking to try and make sure we're safe, we know where we are um, and then those conversations will happen.